Sorry, Mr. Daughter's concert. No, no, it's okay. Sharon totally understood. After I lied to her and said we had to stay late because Rosa got shot. But next time you see her, walk with her. Copy that. Hey. You know you don't have to sweep up, right? Oh, someone's got it. Plus, it reminds me of the three years I spent as a cleaning lady in college. Hmm. I guess there really is no term for cleaning man. Mm -hmm. That's not great. <laughs> so, hey, listen, I wanted to say great job today, and also, I'm sorry. Sorry for what? Well, when I heard you got the task force, my first reaction was just to feel sad for myself instead of happy for you. Well, you sure hit it well. I really didn't. I stormed into the other room and moped by myself. Yeah, but you had style. Charles, no, look. You have to take the task force job. Really? What about Nikolaj? He's gonna be so proud of his dad. I bet he even ditches those new friends. Oh, man, that's the dream. Thank you for saying that. Honestly, though, I still don't get why Holt chose me over you. Are you kidding? I mean, just look at today. Instead of fighting for attention, you did the work and methodically built your case. You noticed things that a room full of seasoned cops all missed. You're a great detective, Charles. Wow. Even in defeat, you are a true prince of a man. The task force is yours. What? No, Boyle, just take the win. It was good to see you today. I'll keep my ears open for any job opportunities that arise. Appreciate it. I could use it. Just got a text from Melissa. I've been fired by the yarn barn. Well, you're still the best damn detective I've ever worked with. Thank you. Wait a minute. Your iris just contracted by one-tenth of a millimeter. You're lying. Yes, I've lost a lot of respect for you today. Understood. Goodbye, Raymond. Well... Since Dillman is clearly out of the top spot now, who's the best detective you've ever worked with? It's Sergeant Leslie Hunt Minkoff. Who? Not a doctor.